Welcome to the Dog Advisory Council, a trusted resource for dog owners and enthusiasts. Today we will be talking about what to do if your dog ate protein powder. If your dog has eaten protein powder, you can expect him to have some serious diarrhea and other issues, including vomit, lack of appetite, and general discomfort. You may also notice that he's either wound up or lethargic, and he may even be a little aggressive or snappy if he's in pain. Eating protein powder is, at best, uncomfortable, and sure to give him bathroom and attitude issues until he poops it out. At worst, it will require an expensive trip to the vet. Perhaps you've seen ads for protein powder for your dog, specifically. You can get protein powder that is designed specifically for dogs that will give them the same benefits that humans get but in a dog-safe manner. For instance, dog protein powder wouldn't contain any of the dangerous ingredients in human protein powder, and they would be free from flavors, additives, and other fillers that are just there for human needs. Protein powder can be a good thing for dogs in some cases, but you'll always want to check with your vet to make sure that your dog gets the right ingredients to treat the right issues, at the right dosage. Simply, dogs can't eat regular protein powder because it's designed for human needs, tastes, and bodies. It isn't designed with your dog in mind, so most manufacturers will add in flavors, additives, and more to make it appealing to humans. Those ingredients, harmless to humans, can be dangerous to your dog. There are some types of protein powder that can have mild effects on your dog, depending on how much he ate, but nothing worse. In this case, the protein powder wouldn't technically be considered bad for your dog. It just wouldn't be something that you should give your dog knowingly. Most of the time, though, protein powder can have serious side effects on your dog's health and well-being. This could be due to a few reasons. The amount of nutrients or vitamins minerals. Human protein powder is made for human proportions. Most powder comes with instructions on how to prepare it and how much is too much. That's because it's chock-a-block with nutrients, vitamins, minerals, etc. If you have too much within a serving, you'll overload yourself with those active ingredients and can cause harm to yourself. Your dog has the exact same issue, except he is smaller than you. It takes far less than a full serving of protein powder for a dog to potentially overdose on those active ingredients, and they can have a much stronger impact on your dog's health than a human's health. Flavor and additives. To make protein taste good for humans, most manufacturers will add sweeteners, chocolate, and other flavor touches. These are delicious and harmless to humans, but very dangerous for your dog. The amount of powder he eats. Also due to size, the amount of powder he eats will determine how bad his potential reaction is. This includes both the physical amount of powder he ate and how it relates to his size. Small dogs can ingest less than larger dogs, as you can probably guess. If you've discovered that your well-intentioned dog has boggled your protein powder, the next steps will help you stay calm and stay in control of your dog's safety and well-being. Get the exact product information and how much your dog ate. As you've learned above, many protein powders are different from year to year and flavor to flavor. Accuracy is key, so you'll want to get the exact information from your protein powder. This includes the brand name, flavor type, a list of all ingredients, and portion size. Call your vet and tell them everything. Because there are so many potentially dangerous ingredients and additives to protein powders, you'll definitely want to call a vet and tell them what happened. Most often, they'll ask for the above information, so have it ready. Most of the time, they will tell you to bring your dog in, especially if he ate a lot, and you'll want to bring your protein powder information with you too. Watch closely for reactions and symptoms. If you don't bring your dog to the vet, or it's the middle of the night and you want to avoid emergency vet service, you'll want to watch for serious symptoms that your dog is having a serious reaction. These can include severe and extreme diarrhea, severe and extreme vomiting, bloody discharge from the bum or nose, extreme lethargy and fainting, tremors and seizures, other symptoms of extreme distress or pain. The bottom line with dogs and protein powder is that they don't mix well, even if it's a flavor other than chocolate. Unless your vet has approved a specific diet including protein powder, never deliberately allow your dog to eat it, and protect his health by keeping it far out of reach. If you want to learn what are the dangerous ingredients in protein powder, click the link in the description below. If the information in this video was useful, 
Please like it and don't forget to subscribe.